okay. Everything's okay. We're okay. It's my wind. Wind is supposedly still basically calm. I like that enthusiasm. Oh, I'm needle chasing here. I need to focus on the helipad. Get the aircraft onto the helipad. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh. Uh oh, uh oh, we're off, we're off. Up, 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 up. Welcome back everybody. You know, as a pilot and a former air traffic controller who also knows a lot of other pilots, I can tell you that pretty much every pilot has wondered how well they would be able to fly an aircraft in different unique situations. Well, I recently had a surgery where I had to go under general anesthesia. That's where they fully knock you out and put a tube down your throat. Plus, by nature of the procedure I was having, I ended up going home with a lot of painkillers, all appropriately prescribed, of course. But I was curious how well I'd be able to fly while I was still groggy from the anesthesia. I fired up the DCS multiplayer search and rescue server about 35 minutes after being discharged from the hospital. My wife drove me home. I was under strict instructions not to operate any heavy machinery for at least 48 hours, and it was time to try my hand at a Huey. There's quite a bit of editing here at the beginning as I was struggling just to get the search and rescue function to work. I won't bore you with those details, I figure it out later. Let's see how it went. Okay, auto start. Gotta remember how to turn off all this stuff. There we go. There we go. My golly, what a lovely... What a lovely skin that is. I feel, hang on, I, I seem to remember there was a way to change that. I just gotta bring up, what was it, the radio. There we go. Rearm and refuel. I thought they had one that was medevac. There we go. Civilian medical. Okay, let's see here. What's the wind sock showing us? Straight from our right. And we've got to adjust the old heading indicator here. So the wind is from the southwest. Yeah, maybe once we lift off. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Oh. All right, we're facing into the wind now. Oh gosh. <coughs> little windy, little windy. Oh. I mean, I wish I had some idea. There you go, there's trim for us. Oh gosh. Yeah, so I had, had surgery today under uh, general anesthesia. That's where they, they knock you out. You could probably hear through my voice. It's, uh, I, had a, I was intubated, had a tube down my throat. Still pretty groggy from it, frankly. And I, uh, you know, they always tell you as a pilot, you know, that, that uh, the altitude affects you differently and you don't ever want to fly under the influence of anything, which I, I firmly, I absolutely support that. You don't want to. But I was curious, I mean... How, how difficult is it really... to do this sort of thing? Let's see here. I'm completely confident that if I was in a real helicopter at this point I would be, uh, getting sick. Well, I can't seem to spawn anything. This is the search and rescue server. This is normally my go-to for multiplayer stuff, particularly helicopters. But I can't get any of the missions to spawn. I don't know, that may be a common, like a known issue. I just don't know. I did do auto start and I haven't gone through any checklists or anything, so... Who knows what it is that I'm forgetting about. Okay, we've got the wind behind us. Let's see where we might be able to set it down to uh, 
investigate this. See if we can get something to spawn. There we go. That should be a wind in front of us approximately. say I do love the uh, the trim function uh oh uh -oh. oh we saved it Ooh. saved might be an optimistic term there we didn't we didn't biff it Excuse me, man, I tell you what, you know, if you've never thought about it, particularly when it's like a trauma incident, like a, like a bad car accident or something, uh oh, oh boy, um, it is, There we go. A mechanic has broken his leg working on his vehicle. He needs to be taken to the hospital. Look for a blue vehicle marked on our map. How terribly far away. Oh, not too bad. That was interesting. Um, like if I used F like one, two, three, or four there, it wouldn't work for me. But if I used F7 to spawn an easy one, it did work. Weird. All right, well, that particular task was up here north-northwest of us. But yeah, if you hadn't thought about it, like particularly when it's like a, a trauma rescue or, you know, a car accident or like a really bad something, uh, it's very common for people's teeth to get broken in the intubation process. Well, I won't say it's common. It happens. Honestly, the, the intubation, like getting intubated while you're awake is like a very, um, very traumatic thing. That's why they knock you out generally if you're having a surgery. Okay. We're looking for... I feel like it was just on the edge of town. You see anything, Frank? Okay. So we'd be talking to the ground crew right now. They'd be trying to talk us in on this incredibly windy day. There we go, flying straight into the wind now. Oh, there he is. Right in front of us, right down there on the ground. Okay. The weather here, gang, is not great. Gotta slow down, we're gonna circle the land here. Oh gosh. You know, it's crazy when you get taken in for a surgery so you know I'm in the United States of course but you get um, oh gosh you get taken in for your surgery and they wheel you back there and you know you're just in your little gown and everybody's talking to you and it's all nice and everything which is great I appreciate that and then they wheel you into like the most brightly lit room ever on earth ever and then they start making small talk with you, you know, like, oh, what do you do? Where are you from? And then at some point they start putting something on your face. 
It's like I'm not. I'm not going. Yeah, that's that's the guy right down there. He doesn't even have EMS on site. This guy called 911 <coughs> and got them to send him a whirly bird without like any any EMS personnel. Let's see, this is probably going to be our better approach. Yeah. He's right here by these two tall buildings. We gotta slow down though. That's my, oh gosh. This is hard even when I'm not uh, sort of still tripping a little bit. Got, got a good mix of legally prescribed pain medications going on right now. Okay, good. Good, good. We're doing okay. All right. Okay. There he is. Oh, gosh. to what is it for the door mm. no uh left. Ah, there we go okay door open well I hope this works patient menu load Oh, patient loaded. Good. Door closed. There we go. I forgot where we were supposed to take him. I mean, presumably up to the hospital. Basically straight west of here. Straight east of here. Oh my gosh. All right. Wind. Wind is going to be quartering real quick. There we go. Let's get clear of some of these buildings. I would generally turn out into the wind. There we go. Oh. Yeah, but they start talking to you, all friendly, all nice. And they put the little mask on your face. And suddenly you're coming to in post-op. They're asking you how you're doing, what day it is, what year it is. Buh. I don't like it. I forget. I, f I know that I also have throttle control on my HOTAS setup here, but I don't remember what button combinations it is to make it happen. So I'm just not going to worry about it. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Come on now. That tailwind is hurting us. I mean, it, it is helping make this flight go very fast, but it is making the flight very unstable. We've been going a little bit more north than we have straight east like we needed to. I remember the hospital here has a very distinct shape. Ah, there it is. I think it's all those black buildings out there. Unable to get mission. Somebody else must be spawning in here too. Let me just very- oh, bump the mic, sorry. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. By golly. Rooftop helipad landing. Patient on board. Pilot under the influence of legally prescribed medications. Nobody report this to YouTube about me being a hooligan. Believe me when I tell you that I am subject to more drug testing than you are, given given my, uh, my prior and, and my upcoming career. 
Oh yeah, somebody else is struggling with it. Struggling to get a mission to populate. That stinks. I don't know why, but it worked for me if I did the later F buttons. Anyway. Okay. I do not remember. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's, what's go? Oh, there's a helipad on the roof right there. We're going to overfly. This was just a broken leg. Assuming that he still has, uh, they still have pulse down in his ankle. He's still got blood flow. It's not like he's at terrible risk of losing his foot or anything. Wow, looks like the wind is actually, yeah, wind is actually more calm here than it was before. Or than it was at the airport, rather. Rather challenging. I'm flying very carefully here. It was doing this. You may recall the short where my, my daughter came and got bun bun. I was doing this. I was trying to see how many people I could rescue just flatly in 30 minutes here on the search and rescue server. Um, ultimately, that didn't work out real well because it, it spawned... It, it spawned some of the... Well, most, really. Of the... Uh, missions so far away I would definitely not make an approach this wide over these power lines it's gonna be tough we gotta slow down we gotta slow down nice and calm I wouldn't have an approach that's this shallow either it's okay we're okay. Everything's okay. We're okay. It's my wind. Wind is supposedly still basically calm. I like that enthusiasm. Oh, I'm needle chasing here. I need to focus on the helipad. Get the aircraft onto the helipad. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh. Uh oh, we're off, we're off. Up, 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 up. Yeah, we drifted off the back of the zone. We were, we were in the net. We uh, hope we still have our um, hope we still have our uh, skids. I didn't hear any explosion or anything, but that is a risk when this sort of thing happens. Okay. Okay. Focus on the pad. Coming in a little fast. I'm gonna be just a little bit short again. There we go. Okay. Open. We got it again. F10 patient menu. F3 unload patients. By God, we did it. <laughs> We're going. We are going back to the airfield. You know another thing. If you haven't thought about it, like uh, like big trauma centers or something that get a lot of uh, a lot of flight operations, sometimes you'll end up with more helicopters than there are helipads. And like you know, a facility like this, you might be able to land down in a parking lot or like grass or something. But it's also somewhat I don't want to say common, but it has been known to happen where you land 
two helicopters next to each other on a pad that's a little bit bigger than this. This one is definitely too small given the size of our rotors. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that's the sort of thing that happens from time to time. Okay, taking off straight into the wind. LifeNet 1-1 departing Adana Hospital. <laughs> departing Adana, Adana Trauma. That can't be right, right? It has to be pronounced differently. LifeNet 1-1 departing Adana Trauma. Returning to the airfield. Any traffic in the area, please advise, like this guy. Tweak the trim here. Oh good, we already got the runway in sight. We'll try to set it down over on the ramp. <laughs> but I would, you know, in, in flight training, at some point, um, student pilots are unofficially encouraged to have a beer or two and then ride along with another student while they're getting instruction. So like the people in the front seat would be the flight instructor and a student pilot who is completely sober. And the person in the back would be a student pilot who's maybe had a beer or two. And uh, that is specifically meant to drive home the, um, you know, how much alcohol can affect like, how much more alcohol affects you at altitude? And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I, I, was, I was curious about how, you know, general anesthesia and being, being just generally woozy, having been fully knocked out and whatnot, would, would do that. And it's safe to say this has not been the most smooth flight of mine ever, but, um, you know, it's also a lot different flying a, flying a simulator. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see now. I think we were on the north, the north ramp. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Because we had a wind sock basically right in our face. Still flying straight into the wind. I would, of course, have been talking to air traffic control here about where we were and what we were doing. Yeah, that's where I was parked. All right. Let's see if we can put it back down approximately where we were parked. Good. We're gonna slow her down. We're gonna slow down but not fall. That's the tricky thing with helicopters. Slowing down but not falling. But uh, I would also encourage all of you, you know, keep on top of your health. Like, um, unfortunately, health care in the United States can be expensive. It can be a real, a real pain. But, um, you know, talk to your doctors. Don't, don't ever hold anything back from your doctors. And no matter if it's embarrassing or whatever the case is. I, I'm not even going to tell you what my procedure was, but... It wasn't, it wasn't embarrassing or anything like that. But if it was, no problem. Like, I confident and comfortable oof with my medical professionals that that would not be a would not be a big deal but yeah take care of yourselves if you need if you need medical services by golly go get them uh a little a little rough i hear the other huey there he is what's up there he is gonna come park by me I think he is. You know, we're gonna judge this landing. He's doing a good job. Flew down the runways, kind of flying along the uh, the taxiways. Here, I can I can spawn him. Let's spawn him. Somebody here. Uh, at least I th I think it'll spawn somebody for him. So yeah, here if I use F seven. There we go. Inhaled chemicals and need to be transported to the hospitals. There you go. Excellent. Alrighty. That's good enough for me.
No problem. No problem at all, by golly. The Huey, the Huey was too easy. The Huey was too easy. I should have fired up the A-10 for some dogfighting. Dang it. Well, next time I undergo general anesthesia, I know what I'll be doing right after getting home from the hospital. Thanks for watching.